I2C is a great protocol for connecting one or more devices or sensors on one bus, and the SparkFun Quick system has made it even easier to work with. The downside is that I2C only works well over a few centimeters of cable length before you start getting electrical interference or the signal just becomes too weak. That's where differential I2C comes in. Instead of a single SDA line for data, information is translated to a differential signal that is sent out to another differential I2C translator chip that converts it back to SDA. The same translation happens on the clock line as well. Differential signaling is much more resilient against electromagnetic interference, which allows it to communicate over longer distances. The SparkFun Differential I2C breakout is based on the PCA9615 chip and can work with I2C signals with speeds up to 1 MHz. The I2C bus needs 3.0 to 5.5 volts to operate, although the datasheet says that things work best at 5 volts. The board comes with a couple of quick connectors and an RJ45 port so you can use CAT5 or CAT6 cable for that sweet twisted pair. The datasheet also says that the maximum cable length is about 3 meters, but I'm guessing that that's just for the 1 MHz signaling. I'm thinking that if we use twisted pair and slow those speeds down, we can get many more meters out of it. I've attached a quick shield to an Arduino and put an OLED on top so we get some kind of visual display. I've also attached a SparkFun environmental combo breakout, and I'm sampling the temperature and humidity from it a couple times every second. You'll notice that the environmental sensor is connected through a pair of differential I2C boards, so the I2C signal gets converted to a differential signal, run through about 20 meters of CAT6, and then converted back to I2C. Now, I can have my main board in some safe location, and my sensor in some remote location. As you can see, power is run over CAT6, so no need to power the boards separately. Now, if I breathe on the sensor and run back, information on the Arduino is updated to show how warm and humid my breath is. Using differential I2C can be great if you want to have your sensors or devices farther away from your main board. This can be great in outdoor applications or in greenhouses or even environments with lots of electrical noise like near motors or AC lines. We'd love to know what you would want to make with remote I2C devices. Let us know in the comments and happy hacking. No boogies, we good? Okay, important things.